Greetings, this is Scott with the Game Audio Institute, and this video is basically for people who are dealing with any of our game projects that involve FMOD. Um, specifically, this is mainly for Macs, but we've also done this sort of uh, th uh, thing for PCs as a result. So, essentially, in earlier days, uh, when we were distributing game lessons, we were distributing uh, for middleware, we were doing where when we had FMOD, we were able to basically include the integration as part of the project, which makes it just easy to be able to use. Uh, unfortunately, on Macintosh computer systems, uh, this has now become very untenable to be able to do easily. Uh, what happens is that now, uh, if you were to bring uh, any of our game projects over, uh, they would be basically broken as a result of the fact that there are security issues on the Macs that basically flag any kind of library that you try to in uh, import uh, as a sort of suspect sort of thing, essentially. So as a result, um, uh, it means that you have to install the integration yourself. So this is a documentation on how to install the integration. Now, in order to be able to do this, you will have to have a connection to your uh, to a to an FMOD project in order to make this work. Uh, but here's basically what you would be going through if you are trying to open up one of our typical kinds of things. It'll basically fail. So if you take a look over here, we're going to go over here to the uh, day and night. This will work for anything that we have, any any pr uh, uh, project that we have that's using FMOD, basically. So not just this one, but any of them that are using FMOD. So if we click on this, what ends up happening is you will eventually get a warning that says this. It says enter safe mode. So enter safe mode basically says it says compilation errors. Now if you can, you can basically just say ignore, um, and when you do this, it will still be broken. Okay, so, and you can kind of tell because as soon as you, you click the, the playback button here, it will just immediately say all compiler errors have to be fixed before you can enter play mode. And basically you're kind of dead in the water and can't do anything at this point. So what you'll have to do is install the integration because what, right now what it's doing is it's having a bunch of errors that basically pertain to the fact that the integration is missing and it cannot find the files uh, that it needs, the scripts that it needs. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to um, FMOD's own website, and that would be this one over here, fmod.com. And you will have to create your own login. It is free, but it is something you'll have to do. And uh, then you will have to sign in to the login. And in my case, you can I can pick my typical ones that I have. And once I do that, I now have a download link that I can go to, and when it says download FMOD, now I'm going to be looking for FMOD for Unity, for integration of the FMOD runtime with Unity. Well, you're going to want the 202 version, not the 201 version, not the older version. Uh, you can get the 20207, I suppose. See what happens, that, how, that, how that works. And you can say 20207, that's fine and it does support Windows, Mac, Linux, mobile, and HTML5. That's fine, click download. And once you do that, it will tell me that he wants to save a bunch of things, so I'm just gonna go here, and it will download a Unity package file in the downloads folder. So you'll have to go grab that, and then you should switch over back to Unity, and um, let's see what we have here right here. So over now in Unity, what you're going to have to do is you'll go to the Assets menu and you will say Import Package and then Custom Package. And then you go here and under our Downloads, you will see a Unity package, FMOD Studio 20204. It's probably actually the one we want is the most recent version, which would be date modified. Uh, sorry, this one, 20207 Unity package right here. So you want it to click open. It will start up with a thing. It will look like this. 
All right? You'll want to import this, and you're still not quite done. So importing is one part of the thing. The next part is really going to be uh, hooking up your uh, project with the other thing, uh, with the um, stuff. But here's the main issue. It will say, totally fine. And it gives a lot of options in this, in this sort of wizard. Some of which, most of which, in fact, are really not all that necessary. It's just trying to do things in a particular sort of simple way. But the, but the main issue here is this one. Uh, once you do this, in fact, you know, you can even go all the, over to this window, I think, here. And uh, the console and clear the errors out. And it will, as long as those errors are cleared out, that's actually makes it so that it'll run, even if it's not actually going to be playing the FMOD event. Now, the next thing we need to do is hook up the actual FMOD project. So you do need to have an FMOD project and a bank already already built. Um, but this at least gets you to the point that you can uh, start working with it and that sort of stuff. But anyway, what you'll want to do is click on the linking tab here, and you want to find FMOD Studio Project. Now, of course, you have to have an FMOD Studio Project already created. You have to have a bank built, okay? So keep that in mind. Once you do that, it will then put you into wherever you need to go in order to do this kind of stuff, which probably is... Somewhere over here. I probably have to go over here, actually. Yeah. So, day and night. Which is right here, FMOD Teacher. And this is my day and night thing, so I'm going to grab day and night FS Pro. I'm going to click open. And that will basically... Do now. There's a few errors that it's having, but these are just these are just uh, slightly weird errors. You may not even get them, honestly. It's just a bunch of stuff about uh, display issues, but it's nothing, uh, no major issues. So what you're going to do is basically say, okay, this is fine. This is everything is cool, and you want to click next. So in this case, uh, you can go to that, and then there's a bunch of other stuff here. You can probably actually get out of here. What you probably want to do is when you get to the first bit here. Uh, say do not display this again so therefore because otherwise it'll come up all the time and you want to not do that so now that you've done this it's actually pretty much fine from this point forward so you can now at least work with fmod you can update your events and everything like that and then it will actually work inside the game so i hope this is helpful and we will see you in other videos take care